Hey everybody, it's Kim. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm not off to the side here. I gotta, gotta go over some here. <laughs> so in the middle. Sorry about that. Hey, how are you all? This is Kim from Northeast Daughter. Welcome to the weekly chat. Um, if you're new here, uh, hello. This channel, I do tutorials. I do um, pattern reviews, just anything sewing related. And once a week or so, we try to go live. I take questions anytime. And um, if you have a question, go ahead and put a Q before your question so that um, we can find it easily. And today's a little different. So I was thinking that today we might just, you know, it's really fun when you're watching a movie and you see something that you like to do. And so I was trying to think of the sewing movies that I knew about. It's not a lot, but you guys probably know way more. But I just thought it would be fun to talk about that and catch up. And I don't know, this has been such a serious week with the elections and everything. I just thought, let's lighten our load and just have some fun today. So hello, Lori. Hi, Joey. And Dee is here. And Dolores and Christine, nice to see you guys. Um, so, hi Sharon, nice to see you as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and play one that's from 1947. I'm going to play you a clip. I don't have a lot of clips because I didn't have permission, but this one is public domain, so because it's so old probably. But anyway, I thought this was a lot of fun, so I'm just going to start off with this. The sewing machine, a friend in need. If I didn't have my sewing machine, a wicked life I'd lead. But I bob and I bob and I pedal, I pedal and dream about the romance. So by night I feel so weary that I never get out to dance. Oop, sorry about that. <sighs> Hit the wrong thing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I thought that was kind of fun. Has anybody ever seen that movie? It is called The Perils of Pauline. So I thought it was kind of a, a fun thing. I found that when I was doing a um, video for a homeschool curriculum to teach the kids about the parts of the sewing machine. So I thought that was really fun. Um, so anybody have any other movies that they like that they're sewing in? Someone said, I do not watch this kind of movie, but somebody said there's a sewing scene in Deadpool. Um, Joey just said sound and music. Yes, definitely. Remember the curtains? Sorry if you can hear little toenails on my wood floor from my puppies. They're, uh, running free. I've got a gate that I'm I need my kids to hook up so that they don't make noise while I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> but anyway, um, that one is, uh, one I just played is public domain. You can find it online, download it for free. It's called The Perils of Pauline, and that's Betty Hutton. So probably one of her first movies. Um, yes, it is Betty Hutton. That's right. Um, let's see. Bucks Country PA. Oh, here for a minute, I thought you were a Buckeye fan. <laughs> but I'm the only Buckeye fan in Michigan, probably. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, Minnie is sitting here. I wish I could get the camera down that low, but she's down here at my feet. And um, she wants to know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, she's the white one. All righty. Um, so I was thinking of some more. Can you guys, uh, let's see, we've got Sound of Music, we've got The Perils of Pauline. And another one that is kind of this time of year, um, there is a scene where the Grinch tries to make himself a Santa suit. And that came out kind of dark, but remember he just he just cuts out the shape of a, of a suit. And yeah, didn't, doesn't quite work that way, but um, it is technically a sewing scene. All right, uh, let's see. Cinderella with the mice, definitely. Oh my goodness. Yep, I have the dress maker on here as one of them. I'll show you a little screen grab from that. I've actually um, was watching that this afternoon. 
um, after I started going through, I thought, you know, I've never watched it to the end. Didn't get all the way to the end yet, but it's a good movie. Uh, a little dark, but it's a pretty good movie. So, but I like Cinderella better, I will admit. Um, and then there's Downton Abbey. Remember, she gets the, it's Baxter, and she gets the new electric sewing machine. So that is kind of cool. Oh, there's another Buckeye. Connie's from Buckeye, Arizona. <laughs> I, I agree with the, Cinderella's mice being the, the best one so far. Um, anybody else? There's always the shows that are on, the Great British Sewing Bee, if you can find it, because it's not always uh, able to be seen here. But if you're in the UK, you're lucky and you get to see it. They don't always um, have it where we can see it. Usually a year behind. You can see it on um, a Daily Mail, I think it is, or something like that. Or there's, um, you can find, find it on YouTube after it's a year old, usually. Buckeye quilt blocks this week. Buckeye as in Ohio State? <laughs> I love Lucy. Does she sew in an episode? Oh, that would be fun. I wish I'd found that clip. <laughs> that is fun. My mom was um, my mom was the epitome of Lucille Ball. She, of course, she was Dorothy, but she looked like her, acted like her. Um, she was a comedian, kind of. I mean, she was just a really funny lady, and. Um, <laughs> She, there were men that were scared of her. <laughs> I'm serious. She was, uh, she was um, just fun. I mean, she was so funny. She would just tell you what she thought. You know, it didn't matter. Maybe a little too outspoken sometimes. But yeah, that was actually the one I was going to say, Libby. My favorite favorite is Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. That's what started this whole thing. Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris is delightful. Um, it's about a lady. Um, you can look up the trailer on YouTube, you know, because of copyright, I couldn't show it, but they, they go, this lady, you know, kind of hits it, gets into unexpected money. And so she goes to Paris because all she wants is a Dior gown and she ends up changing the face of that entire company. And it's just precious. It's clean. It's fun. Um, there's just nothing about that movie that isn't wonderful. So... <laughs> oh, how fun. Her and Viv. So, according to Joey, and I love Lucy. Oh, you would love my mom, Joey. She was something else. <laughs> so, let's see. You can't get Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. It is, uh, you can rent it now, I think. Um, I bought it because I loved it so much on row eight. I have a Roku and they have this movie service but I think you can rent it on Prime or or one of those um, one of those shows D the dressmakers on Prime it's Kate Winslet and it's really it's a dark movie um, they she got run out of town when she was young and basically she gets her revenge as a dressmaker which is pretty cool but, um, and there's some humor in it, but it's dark. It's dark humor. <laughs> when you get done, please kindly film how to operate a sewing machine electric foot pedal properly. Okay. Um, there's not really much to it, Frank. Uh, you just... It's like driving a car, you know, you press the press on the gas. Some sewing machines, uh, it's on and off. Some are uh, go faster when you push it down harder. So it just depends on your machine. But it's there's not really anything to it. You can even use, there's a start and stop button usually on most machines as well if you want to use your hands. There's not anything um, to use in a pedal. It's just, just push it. <laughs> Um, Connie was 
practicing piano for Veterans Day tomorrow while I was waiting for you to start. All of a sudden there, I could hear a voice and it scared me half to death. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> was I, uh, was it before I went live? <laughs> was my mic on? Or were we just starting? Probably. Um, let's see. What else did I have here? Uh, there's a movie about Coco Chanel. Whoop. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. Well, Project Runway is always a favorite. But there also is a movie about Chanel and um, Coco Chanel. And it really looks good. I haven't watched it. But it, it is in subtitles. So that's the only thing about that. And I like to like take my glasses off sometimes when I'm watching. I don't want to watch subtitles, not really. So uh, just depends on you know what you like. But there is one out there about Coco Chanel. The Waltons to see quilts on the beds. Oh, how cool! Mary Ellen's quilt to be made for her hope chest. Oh my gosh, you guys are really finding them. <laughs> I sew on my socks because with shoes on, I can't feel the pedal. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know that I can really, I mean, I don't know what it would do to film that because it's just press it. Um, there's really nothing to it. If you're having trouble getting your machine to start, there may be something else wrong because um, you need to make sure that the pedal's plugged in and um, that it's the right one and that the machine is on. Otherwise, um, there's really nothing to it. It's not like a treadle where you have to pump it or anything. You just push it, that's it. Um, and like on my machine, it has a start and stop button. If you unplug the foot pedal, you can actually use the start and stop button if you wanna stand and sew, or if you, um, for whatever reason, don't use your feet. When I had my knee surgery, I did do that a little bit. I um, needed, you know, my, my leg was painful, so I, I used the start and stop button. And it, you get used to it a little bit. It's not, it's what you're used to, so it's not, I don't think, the best way to do it, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, speed, they can take off, you're right. Um, some of them um, are very sensitive to speed. Some of them are just on and off and you, you regulate the speed. There's usually a speed dial, and if you turn that kind of down, I put it like in the middle um, until I know how fast I want to go. And then if you have it all the way up, it's gonna take off on you. And if you have it all the way down, it may, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That just kind of not get going, especially if it's an older machine. So, um, but if you're pressing on the foot pedal and it's not working, there's something else wrong. Definitely. Yeah, my machine, all my machines have had adjustable speed. Um, my old, old, old heavy duty non-computerized Janome has just high and low. Um, but this one has, the last two that I've had actually have like a sliding scale of speed. Good morning, Jane. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> I must have been loud when I came on today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> well, let's see, what else? So, and then my, as I said, Project Runway is a big favorite. And um, there's the new Making the Cut. It's on Amazon Prime. That's Tim Gunn and Heidi Klum. Um, it's a little bit different than Project Runway. Um, the designs are a little more out there than they were for Project Runway. But I still like watching them so. And then, okay, get ready for another favorite, favorite. When Model Gets His Sewing Machine on Fiddler on the Roof. Isn't that fun? <laughs> um so that anyway that's all i had but you guys i knew somebody would have more suggestions cinderella i love lucy um 
yeah, tons of them. So thank you. And uh, I don't know, I just thought we'd have fun with that today. Gail had a question. Let me scroll back and see what it was. My push pedal on the floor, it stopped working. It was working fine before that. Any ideas of what could be wrong or what to do? I've re-threaded it and bobbin too. What type of machine do you have, Gail? Um, perhaps it's not plugged in all the way. That'd be the first thing I would check. Um, the next thing I would check is if you do have a start and stop button, if that's working, there might be something wrong with your pedal. Um, but maybe it's just not plugged in all the way. So, uh, I guess it depends on what kind of machine you have. So if you could let me know, uh, what kind it is. Uh, did you move it maybe slightly? Maybe a, a wire is sensitive or something like that. Um, you might need a new foot pedal, which they're not real expensive. They're, they are brand specific, but not too expensive. Gone with the Wind has sewing in it? I don't remember that. But with those gowns, I, could, I guess it would. Enchanted. Yes. I love that. The Happy, Happy Day. What is the name of that song? When they're going around doing chores in the beginning. <laughs> How fun. Wouldn't it be fun to just sing that song? And did I actually, you're looking at model still? Sorry about that. <laughs> He's running the show today. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I don't, I don't remember what that song was. I just remember it would, was a fun one in the beginning. Um, yeah, I, I, Gail, I think I'd check your, check your connections. And before you like give up, take some alcohol and clean like the, um, the contacts and make, cause that's always something that can happen. They can be dirty. Um, but if you have, um, if you have it plugged in, you know, unless there's something wrong with the machine, if the machine is working otherwise, um, then I mean it. Okay, so if you're sewing, you know, against like if your presser foot's like that, you know, and it's thick fabric, it's gonna not go. So it's possible, you know, it could be. Um, just to level out the presser foot type thing with a hump jumper or whatever. But most likely it's something wrong with your pedal. But I would just um, take it in and see if you after you check all the other things. The gown from the green, that's right, the green curtain. I even read a book about that. It, it was a really good book. Yeah. Joey wants to know when my surgery is. My surgery is January 5th. So um, I'm actually looking forward to it because I'm ready to be done with this numbness in my legs. It's not, not getting better. It's getting somewhat worse. And um, I wasn't ready for a while, you know, emotionally after my husband passed. But now I... I just really need to get it to get it done. Sorry, my dogs are being noisy today. Girls, go you need to go lay down, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my goodness, the Carol Burnett show with the curtain rod right across her shoulders. Oh my gosh, I remember that. How funny. <laughs> there are just some good TV back then, you know? Uh the, um, the Lucy show with Mr. Mooney and Carol Burnett was on there a lot. I the, the reruns are on the Roku channel, like on the live thing. There's a there's a Lucy channel. I love watching those. It's so much fun to watch all those old shows. Scarlett was getting fitted in the beginning of Gone with the Wind. I think I remember that. Diane had a question. How, uh, Gail, how old is your Janome? So, and no start or stop button. Okay, um, I'll go back and look at, um, 
Diane's here in one second. Gail, what can you can you hand crank it without any resistance? Your sewing machine, can you turn it and crank it without meeting any resistance? If you can, then it's a probably a foot problem. So, hi Cheryl. I'm going to be in Texas in just a little while. A couple to less than two weeks now. So, oh, I got a lot to do because we have our Christmas fun down there. So, all right. Diane had a question. Making the aria out of heavy denim for a shacket, would you interface both layers of the collar? Cuff and placket. A little, con yeah, I wouldn't. I just do one. Um, it, especially if it's a heavy denim, it's going to be just way too thick if you do that. I just, you might not even have to at all, but I would just use like something like um, SF 101, you know, the, the, um, the, the woven interfacing, fusible. Just do something like that. I wouldn't do a heavy interfacing and I wouldn't definitely not do it on both pieces. So. <laughs> so anyway oh fitting but not sewing the pretty woman that's right when she goes in those stores yeah so fun but if you haven't seen mrs harris goes to paris that is the best movie it's so good um just yeah she tells she tells christian dior how to um, <laughs> how to do his business <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, how fun, Libby. You got a t-shirt. Good for you. Your, which one did you get? I uh, am wearing one. This is the... Now, I did it in teal. Um, I think I like these on a, the lighter colors better. But this is the one that says she... She um she works with her hands in delight with the sewing machine, but like I said, this is in teal, and I think it would pop more on the lighter colors. I just want to see, you know, what it was like because I love that design. Did you see the new design I uploaded this week? Um, this week's design is I only sew on days that end in Y. Let me um let me find it and show you. Oh, sewing and Christmas boo. I love that one. I'm waiting on mine too. <laughs> it's supposed to be coming. All right, let's see. Is it in? Yes, here it is. Okay, this is the new one. Let me make it smaller so you can see it. This is the design that I uploaded this week. I thought that one was pretty cute. I'm having so much fun designing those, you guys. More fun than I should be allowed to have. Love Comes Softly has a sweet sewing scene. I love those books. And the movies are good, too. She makes her stepdaughter a dress from her mother's dress oh i remember that too phantom thread now that one came up in my searches and i've never uh i i've never don't even know what that one's about but it was looked interesting so and what is that movie about and and you can crank it okay it goes around i guess i probably um First, I'd clean the contacts of that foot, and then if that doesn't do it, I would probably take it in um, to a dealer and see if he can either get you a new foot pedal or look at it for you. Um, probably just as cheap to get a new foot pedal. Um, there, I think for those older machines, I think you can get like a generic one. So, but don't hold me to that. You ask a professional. Um, but I don't, they're not real expensive, so it might be cheaper than um, taking it in to have it looked at, really. 
depending on how much they charge. Um, you could always call Janome, uh, the company, and see what um, what they would suggest as far as which pedal to buy. Um, if it's an older machine, they may or may not have parts for that machine, but they might have something that'll work. <laughs> Thank you. I have I have been having so much fun, and I'm gonna keep them coming because I do that in the evenings. I sit there and design T-shirts, so I'm trying to release you know one a week or so, and um, I've got the best sewing one for Christmas coming on Black Friday. Just so you know. <laughs> um, yeah. But, I mean, it depends. This one you can wear all year. So, you know. But I am definitely going to be adding to that collection. And um, I just, I keep seeing t-shirts that I want to buy. And then I think, oh, I need to just come up with some of my own so that's what that's how that got started um and it's you know i got the thing from youtube that i was eligible finally to have a merch shelf on my uh site so why not i decided to just throw those designs in there and see what happens um so guys i am let's see let me look i can tell you officially where i'm at Uh, I thought the, the political text would stop, but because of that thing in Georgia, now they're, it, it's not stopping. They're just keep them coming. I'm like, oh, I'm over it. All right. Um, let's see. What was I going to do? <laughs> oh, well, I'll think of it. Oh, right. I was going to see how close I am because you guys, I want to do something really special. When I hit that mark, look at how close, let's see, oh, I can't do that, that's right, well, I'm at 19,908, getting very close to 20,000. So share and like and whatever, and let's get this up to 20,000 and we will celebrate. <laughs> um, I love the growth that I've had. I just think that it had to have been God for my channel. Well, God and also, you know, inspiring you guys who are just so great to me. Um, that my channel grew while I was going through all that stuff and could hardly do anything. And that makes me more motivated than ever to get good content out to you guys. So we're going to celebrate. <laughs> You'll probably hear me all the way from Michigan um, when I hit it because it's been a, I, I had a goal. This is before any of that happened with my husband and, and his passing and everything. And, and he was, you know, you can do it, you can do it. And I kept saying, I'm going to hit 20,000 by the end of this year. And then when that happened, I thought, there's no way. And now I'm kind of thinking that it could happen. So although things do slow down, once we hit December, generally views taper off a little bit during the Christmas season. I've been doing this now for three and a half years. So I do know that that happens at Christmas. But we'll see. I only need 92. <laughs> so, if you know anybody who likes to sew, send them my way. I know we'll have we'll have some kind of celebration. I'm not sure what. Um I'll think of something. <laughs> and uh It'll be fun. So, um, Dee is going to be sending out some information about some Zoom gatherings that we're going to have. Um, I'll let I'll let her give you the details, but 
we're going to do some just hang out and sew Zoom gatherings. And I know everybody's going to want to know all about it right now, but I don't have all the details right now. We are working it out. Dee is going to take care of emailing people for me or um, getting the word out. So just stay tuned. Watch for that. And um, the podcast is, I, I need I have one more step I need to do to be totally ready to do that. Um, it's going to be called the cover stitch. Uh, I don't know what day I'm going to release it on. Usually, I think probably either Monday or Tuesday of every week. Um, it may be live and it may be premiered with questions being answered. Um, like, it'll be live, but it might be pre-recorded with us answering questions at the end. I'm not sure exactly on how that's going to be. Um, but whoever the guest is will have the opportunity to answer questions. And um, I am considering channel memberships. I quit looking at Patreon because I, I just didn't have peace about it. But on YouTube, you can do that and have it all be in one place. And it can be such that um, for the podcast to keep the studio audience a little small and not and having it really uh, focused on the guest and the questions, uh, I think that participating in that question and answer time of that will might be one of the perks of membership. Um, and not sure what all else, but it will definitely be worth um, worth being a member. So I, I think that all in all, Patreon takes less money away, um, but they don't have the exposure that YouTube does. And with YouTube, it's, you know, the button to join is like going to be right on my, right on the videos. So uh, I think it will, you know, even itself out and, um, it does, you know, it is good to have support from your community because it does cost money to maintain machines and, you know, do all the, you know, I've now purchased uh, three, well, actually four cameras. Um, I have them set up permanently in my sewing room now so that when I'm sewing, I can film everything and not stop. And that has made a difference for me, quite a big difference, actually. Um and get better, better views. So, um, <laughs> yes, I am looking forward to that too. It won't be, you know, it won't be like this where we're all, you know, like my face in the camera. I'm going to be sewing too, but you know, we can answer questions, hang out, you know, do, uh, on the zooms. I mean, um, it'll be fun. And, uh, I think, you know, we've all got Christmas sewing to do, so we can we can work on that and chit chat and see who's got the best snacks and <laughs> all that. I'm not sure Cheryl wants to know if I'm going to go to the fabric store in San Antonio. I might. Uh, my sister-in-law's not has been in the hospital on and off, and I don't want to add a layer of one more thing for my brother to have to do. So if it, the situation is there and I have the opportunity to go, yes, I'm going to go. Um, I don't, I've kind of already bought my Christmas fabric, but um, I'm sure, you know, I pick up a couple things. I love their interfacings and they're super cheap too. Um, and they've always got something unique and, and uh, fun. So yeah, I probably will go but um, only if she's doing okay. I don't want to make a hardship for him. So, yeah, it's, uh, I can't wait to be with my family. That's just the most important thing for me. So, um, my brother is my spiritual mentor. We lost our dad when he, my dad was only 62. Um, so I was just having my first baby. Um, my brother's 13 years older than I am. So he's in many ways, the big brother slash father figure to me. And, um, he's got a super important spot in my life. 
Yes, Joey, there's going to be one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one on a Saturday. Does that work? <laughs> That's um, That was something that Dee and I talked about when we were thought about doing the Zooms, is that we would definitely try to have different times so that it would be available. Uh, everybody would have the opportunity if they chose to. Of course, it's going to have to be like a little bit limited to, in number. Or it's going to get too crazy, but um, we'll make it fair. And um, I'll do my best to have plenty of them to include everybody. So. <laughs> oh, Anne found another movie, How to Make an, an American Quilt by Winona Ryder. Ah, I mean, with Winona Ryder. I don't remember seeing that movie. Cool. Sue's, oh, yes, um, the stepdaughter, I mean, the stepmother, Cheryl, the movie with Susan Sarandon and Julia Roberts, the step the stepmother, yep, so, yeah, that'll be, that'll be neat, so, oh, good, 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 I'm glad that does, how, what, how many hours are you, uh, ahead or behind. Um, what time and day is it for you right now, Jane? Oh, Brenda, we're going to be having some Zoom hangouts for Christmas sewing. Dee's going to kind of organize it. I'll be there. <laughs> I love, I love that she's helping me with that because it would just, you know, I try really hard to get everything done, but you know, it, it is a lot to just do the regular things with the channel, but um, I will definitely be there and, you know, leading it and um, sewing with you and answering questions if you have them. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's going to be three different times. So um, there's going to be a morning, a weekday morning, a weekday afternoon, and a Saturday. So we will... It's so it's 8.30 on Friday right now. So you're ahead. Well, there's going to be an evening one, I think. Yeah, there's going to be an evening one. So you should, that would probably be best for you because it would be like mid-morning for you or something. Um, I know, I, I can't wait, really. I think it's going to be fun. We can see who's got... You know, everybody bring, like we can say, you know, pretend like it's a bring, bring your snacks and, you know, see who's got the best snacks, but we can't really, you know, share, but it'll be fun. See what, you know, what's your beverage of choice while you're sewing. I don't know if it's festive. You might even see a little glass of wine in here. I don't know. Possibly. Um, I don't do it very often, but once in a while. Um, and uh, yeah, just do some Christmas stuff. You're from the future. <laughs> I love it. Um, Dee will have all those details. We're still working it out, Joey. So um, she'll have it. She, she said, I think, something about Monday. So I probably shouldn't have opened my mouth yet. Sorry, Dee. <laughs> um, now everybody's going to be bugging. I'm sorry. But, yeah, it will be um, details forthcoming. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That'll be, it will be fun. And, um, yeah. So I just, um, I'm going to be, uh, I don't know if Fran, if you are on this live, will you, uh, say a little hello? I, I met one of our, um, one of our subscribers named Fran and she lives in California and she is, um, I think the coordinator or whatever for the American Sewing Guild chapter that she's in. And I'm going to be doing a Zoom course, not course, but Zoom presentation for that their group. And I'm um, kind of excited about that. I'd love to get, you know, to do some even in-person expos and things like that. So if you have any, any if anybody has an opportunity like that to you know, throw out there. I would love to entertain that. Um, 
So excited to um, to do that. That's something I, I mean, I've done Zoom calls before, but I've never done a teaching over Zoom like that. I've done it live here. Um, shouldn't be too much different, but um, it'll be exciting. Something I have not done before and I would love to do more of. I love to teach in case you guys haven't noticed. I love, love, love to teach. Um, that's the homeschool mom in me, maybe. I don't know, but I, I do. I, even my nursing career, I always was wanted to be the one to do the patient education because I loved it. Uh, yes, and my, <laughs> my husband um, was Czech. My, uh, his grandfather came through Ellis Island. So, yeah. <laughs> He's Czech for sure. Um, yeah, Koluk. <laughs> That's how they would say it. Um, I, I mean, it got shortened over the years to Kolish, but Koluk is how they say it. There's also Polish people with that last name. So um, I'm not sure where that falls, but I think my father in law said that they're the town they were from in, in the Czech well, Czechoslovakia then, uh, was part of Bici. So, um, I think that's like south of Prague. So, yeah. I would love to sew those outfits. It's funny that you, did you pick up on that because of my last name? Or, <laughs> it means dessert. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Are you Czech, Anne? It means dessert. That's really funny. <laughs> I wonder if my, my husband, I wish I could tell him. <laughs> he knows everything now, though. He's not seen through a glass darkly any longer. He knows everything. So... But yeah, he was proud of his Czech heritage. At one time, he was the president of the Czechoslovak Society here in the Toledo area. So yeah, he, he's very, he was very proud of it. <laughs> Anybody else have sewing questions or other questions, whatever? <laughs> We're just kind of having fun today. We, we, we saw, we talked a little bit about sewing in the movies and different movies that they're sewing in. I just thought it would be fun. It's been such a heavy week with all the election stuff and all that. Um, you know, you can't turn on the TV without hearing. That's all anybody's talking about. And I just wanted to escape from that and do something fun. <laughs> so I just decided we would have a fun topic today. Oh, my butterfly is almost done. You guys hang out. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> this is my thread painting that I've been kind of working on in between things. And it's almost done. I don't know if you can see where I've stitched and where I haven't. All of the blue is filled in and the black is done starting here all the way down. So I've just got here and then around here to do. And it's done. So I can't wait to wear this. And then this is this is stick-on um, interfacing that goes away in the water. So once this is done, I'll trim it close and then it'll I'll dissolve it in the water. And this is the back of the denim jacket. So I have had a lot of fun with that and uh, remembering all the techniques I used to do. So I used to do a lot of that, but I haven't lately. So, oh, that's so fun. <laughs> that's amazing. There are cookies called kalachi, yeah? Yep. Yep. And my husband was a huge Steelers fan. So I, I can't wait to wear this and have somebody say, oh, where'd you get your jacket? 
Well, the jacket I got at Kohl's like a long, 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 long time ago. Or no, this one was actually thrifted. And, but I did this myself. And it's all, you know, if you watch the thread painting um, video, if you want to know what, what I was doing. But it's pretty easy. Anything that you, I mean, I used to use coloring books for my designs. And um, now there's so much more out there. Just any picture that you see online, doesn't matter what's around it. You can just pull it out and you don't have to stitch the part you don't want. So it works out really well. Thank you, Brenda. I can't wait. I'm really excited about that. I used to, before the Cricut was available, I always wanted to do something to personalize the clothes I made for my kids. And they loved it when I put the character on it. I did the popples, I did uh, Mega Man, all kinds of things. And um, that's how I did it before we had, um, we had the ability to do vinyl. Now we can do all kinds of things, sublimation, vinyl, all, you know, but there's just something about doing this by hand and you're just coloring like a coloring book, you know, free form. But now my bruise is gone, but I don't know if I, if you guys saw, I had a huge bruise right here. This is dangerous. <laughs> when you're putting something in a hoop and you're down there looking at it really close and sometimes they go boom and it got me right there. So um, public service announcement, be careful. <laughs> How fun. Yeah, my mother-in-law used to make really good kolache cookies. She was Irish though, <laughs> or she is Irish, she's still alive. She's 93. And um, yeah, she lost her youngest boy when my husband died, which is really hard to be 93 and lose your baby on Mother's Day. I think that broke my heart as much as anything else. So how to put a hoodie on a jacket. Sure, um, how about if one of the sew alongs I do you know, sew with me Saturdays, I will throw something with a hood in there, um, like the, the composed robe or one of the hoodies or something like that. I will throw that in there for you. And um, I've got some lined up, so um, I will, uh, I have some I want to sew for Christmas anyway, so it'll be real easy to do a video while I'm doing that. Try to do double time, you know, um, sew the things that I need to so anyway, and then use those for the videos. So yes, I did. I had this picture for Fiddler on the Roof. Mottle, <laughs> the new arrival. <laughs> my, my grandchildren are in a musical every year. As I think, I, I think, oh, how'd that go? Anyway. As I think you have all um, uh, seen me talk about their musicals before, and I've, I usually do costumes and all that stuff. But anyway, they're doing Fiddler on the Roof, and my youngest grand, well, not my youngest granddaughter, but my uh, granddaughter, youngest granddaughter that's old enough to be in the musical it is the youngest daughter in Fiddler. So she is Bielke, and I am so excited. And the other two are in there as well. So pretty excited. Um, I'll be making some costumes again, probably. <laughs> so remind me, Rose, as time goes on, but I'm going to write it down to do a, a pattern with a hoodie for the Sew With Me Saturday. I would love to get to the point where I do one every week. Um, trying to work toward that, but it's... It's uh, difficult when there's a lot of things demanding time. So um, I will, I will try. <laughs> you just asked your boss if you can skip work for the sew-ins. <laughs> I 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to be the cause of any problems at work there, Joey. <laughs> um, I'm sure one of them will work out for you. So, yeah. Anybody got a Christmas wish list of sewing stuff? I don't, um, I don't really have anybody to give my wish list to this year. I mean, my kids, but they wouldn't do sewing stuff. So, um, how to add a hoodie in a pattern without a hoodie. Okay. Um, I think that can, that's doable. Um, you would just probably just use a hoodie from another pattern is probably what I would do. Um, but then you'd also have to translate, trans, transfer the neckline of that pattern as well. But I'll show you, um, that will be easy to do. After Christmas and surgery will be better. I know, I know. I kept thinking I was gonna have all this time when I moved here. You guys, I'm still surrounded by boxes. I can't lift them. And if I break that rule and lift anything, I can't move the next day. So I did, um, label some bins and I did lift a couple of them yesterday just because I want to get all this stuff out of here. There's bins of fabric and supplies that need to go to the garage. They're things I don't use every day. I need to, you know, so that this is presentable and nice. So um, my kids will be here Saturday, so I'm hoping they'll carry those out for me and that will make enough room for me to, you know, get more organized in here at least. And, um, yeah, I've still got tons of boxes. I try to empty two a day, but it doesn't always work. How can we drop hints for your t-shirts? Ah, well, let's see. Um, send them a link, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Um, send them a link or, you know, um, show it to them. Tell them you want a sewing shirt and to look on Dorothy's daughter. So. Oh, no breaks. Bummer. <laughs> yeah. Started with books, then PJs. Okay, what did we... St oh, with um, sewing. Yeah. A quilting advent box. That's interesting. So what is in a quilting advent box, Joey? That would be an interesting thing. Where you maybe you, you do a quilt for each day or a, a, a quilt top for each day. That would be neat. That would be a great project to do with kids, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. I've got Kevin's plaid shirts and one of my must do things before the Christmas is to do something with them for my grandkids. And so I want to do, I think I wanna do pillows and put a photo on on a cloth of him with them because there's a lot of pictures of him with the grandkids and there's at least one of everybody just one of them with him and um, it'll be really neat for them to have that and then um, I think especially the little ones the littlest ones I'm worried they won't remember um, my youngest is five and her brother is seven. I think he will, but I'm worried she won't remember. So I, I want to make sure that there are a lot, tons of pictures and tons of things to remember him by around. So. Um, yeah, so if anybody has questions, I'll throw it out there for a few more minutes and um, then I'm going to get back to my work here. I'm, I want to finish this tonight. I really do. I just, now that it's almost done, I'm so excited to tear this off and see what it looks like at the end. But I love it. I love it so much. 
I know my kids are going to try and steal it from me. <laughs> my, uh, my daughter-in-law said, do they have a, can you find a bee? <laughs> She's into bees. So I might have to do one for her. I've, um, I said, do you have a denim jacket? She said, no. And I said, well, we we're going to have to find one for you then. So that might be a Christmas idea for her. But anyway, well, y'all, I am going to go and make my dinner and get back to working on things around here. As usual, have a wonderful evening, afternoon, and um, I will see you soon. Um, and if you have any questions at all, be sure to go on the Facebook group and tag me and be waiting for info on the Zoom Hangouts with D. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, have a wonderful afternoon. See you later. Happy sewing. <laughs>